Hi cuties, Wendy here. Today we're going to draw my back to school draw so cute girl number two. So let's get started. To draw this cute girl, let's first start by drawing her face. So I'm going to come right here and basically start with drawing a bottom of a U. So I'm going to come right across, nice and wide. And start to connect it at the bottom of a curve. There, so we have a basic curve for bottom of a U. Now let's come back to where we started and on the edge right here, we're gonna draw a circle. For some eyes. And same thing on the other side. So right here. Right on the edge. And so let's make them draw so cute eyes. I'm going to come in here with two small circles for highlights and a curved line at the bottom and a shade in the top. And lines at the bottom. And same thing over here. So thank you Jurassic Cuties for all the love you gave me for my first uh, drawing that I did a long time ago for my uh, back to school girl. And so I thought it's back to school time so I should definitely draw another one. So hopefully you love this one just as much. Okay, so then let's come to the sides right here. And I'm just going to put in two simple lashes. There's two curves. And then let's come above the eye. And about right here, I'm going to draw a soft curve over the eye for a brow. Let's come in here and thicken it up a little bit. Same thing on the other side. So about right here, just a soft curve. And let's give her a sweet smile, of course. So right in the center, about right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and draw a smirk smile. So one size a little bit higher and cap it off. Okay, so then now to draw her hair. So I'm just gonna imagine an oval. So right in the center, her hair parts. I'll say about right here. I'll give myself a point. And from there, I'm gonna start out with a soft curve comes all the way around back to my point. So same thing here. Give yourself a soft curve all the way back. Then now we can start to draw her hair. So like I said, there's gonna be two strands and parts in the center. So right here's our center. We're gonna go up with a curve and taper it. Same thing here, up and taper. And then now we can go up again and we're going to draw the first strand. So come out and the same thing here. So before I finish that, let's go straight up once again. Let's go up where the hair parts and say about right here. Give myself a point and we're going to start to go up on this side and up on this other side. So now to finish her hair right here, the strand, I'm gonna bring it, just bring it down right here, just continuing this curve and just finish it off. So don't go too deep yet because we still have her body to draw. So you know what? I'm not gonna finish off the strand yet because I don't wanna run into trouble where I'm not gonna have room for her um, her body. So I'll just stop about right there for now. I know it looks kind of weird, but we'll come back and finish it. But let's finish the top right here and bring it down. Okay, so same thing over here. Just 
Bring down the curve. Okay. And then you can come back in here if you like and add some parting lines. Just for some hair detail. And that is pretty much it for her face. Make this a little bit thicker. But now let's come back and draw her body before we finish the rest of her hair. So let's come to the center, give her a little neck. Center, and we're gonna curve it out. Curve it out. So because I'm using a Sharpie and she has these uh, straps right here off her book bag, I'm going to stop and just kind of give it a little hump and then continue my shoulders down. So if you're using a pencil, just go ahead and finish this curve as you would for shoulders, but I'm just gonna pop it out a little bit and then bring it down. Okay, so then from there, let's um, come about in this area, imagine where her armpits would be so say about right here and here and bring it down a little bit lower because you have the um, straps to draw in so I'm going to come back right here now just give her a collar so a little bit better idea where everything is and so from this point right here I'm going to connect it up to draw the straps of her back backpack or book bag, however you like to call it. So we have those two straps right there. And then from there, I'm going to bring this down. So a curve, I'm gonna bring a curve down. So this is now beginning of her sleeve and I'll just go ahead and connect it. So same thing over here, come right here to point. So make sure you have this point right here for the armpit area. So everything comes from there. So once again, sleeve and connect. So hopefully that wasn't too complicated. <laughs> okay, so then from there, now we have to draw her hands because she's holding a book or maybe a laptop, all up to you. So let's come right here. Imagine her hands. So everything is coming down to the center. So I'm gonna say about, bring it down to about this area. So I'm going to start. I'm just simplifying the hands. So not too many angles. We just want to bring it all the way down. So about right there. So let's come back here. Just make sure you're coming towards the center. Well, Okay, so then about right there, I'm gonna stop and we draw her hands. So to draw the hands, I wanna angle it out, angle it out. So then right in the center, this is the area we're gonna put in the thumb. So one longer curve, and then this part just angles in and tapers straight. And then you can put in two little angle lines right here. So the most important part is right here that you have a thumb right here and then this angles in. Okay, so same thing over here. I'm gonna angle out just like the other side. Give her a thumb. And then this side is just angling out and you wanna have it all at the same level because she is holding a book. And two little angles right here for some detail. Okay, so now that we have this pretty much straight, you can come in between whatever space you have left and just draw a line through. So draw a line through. Right here. And here. So that's going to be the beginning of her book. So... Um, I'm making it pretty wide so we don't have to draw too much of her top right here. So uh, I'll come about right here and here, nice and even. And I'm going to angle it slightly. So about right here. So same thing right here. Just angle this line very slightly. 
and about right here you can connect it with another straight line there so like I said if you wanted to make it a book or a laptop it's all up to you this is where you would put in all the little details So if you want a laptop, you could maybe put an Apple logo right there. Or if you want to put a book, it's all up to you. <laughs> okay, so then from there, let's come back down and um, draw her legs. So right in the center, I'm going to bring out two angle lines. Okay, so let's come down. All right, there. Uh, let's go. Same thing on this side. So we're just getting thinner as we go down. And how about right there? I'll stop. And I'll just give it a little zigzag. It's kind of like torn jeans maybe and then her um, ankle and then flare out her shoes so curve out and in curve out and in and connect so same thing here ankle out and connect and so details let's come right here bottom of a curve a top curve and right here end it off two sides and two curves for some laces so same thing here one curve top one right here and the sides there so then in her jeans if you want to make them ripped jeans you can just come in here and just wobble some rips in there, all up to you. Figure some rips would be much cooler, right? <laughs> so, uh, maybe one there. Okay, so then from there, let's draw her backpack. So just so that it makes it look a little bit more believable, I'm going to come about right here. Uh, right here and just kind of give a little indication of a backpack on the back and then you can put in this little strap here to make it even more believable the backpack strap and get some details on her shirt and her hair now we can finally finish it so let's bring this down so now we don't have to be afraid that we're going to hit her body so about right there and then to finish off her hair just nice simple curve it out give it maybe a little strand and bring it right back down some details you can put in some lines here and there or you can definitely do this when you're coloring it so it's not so harsh so same thing over here and just bring it right back down okay and of course i have to add a heart right <laughs> so right here on her shirt let's add a heart so that she's my draw so cute uh, back to school girl and you know what i'm going to make this an apple laptop so let's draw an apple right here and i kept talking about it so the bite mark right here and then the leaf.
So they're all done. I really hope you love this new draw so cute back to school girl just as much as my older one. Thanks so much for watching and I hope I made this drawing easy and fun for you to follow along with me. And please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell if you haven't already so you won't miss any new draw so cute videos. See you later.